Um, <laughs> I'm having some mouthpiece fun, uh, but I I have been getting um, I, I am aware of how many people are asking about my new mouthpieces and uh, the new line, and that's I'm playing them now. I I got them <laughs> about a week ago but was in the middle of the flu. If you've ever had something you really wanted to have fun with but couldn't. So uh, I, I'm better now and, uh, and, and just been, been trying them out. And um, the new line that you're all asking about, the, the Maelstrom line, the, 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 the mouthpieces um, uh, are, um, they are copies of my two Mouthpieces, that my orchestral mouthpiece and my um, and my solo mouthpiece, and and um, the, the uh, I just checked, I just double checked before you came in. Even uh, I was playing to find out if they were as good as my normal uh, mouthpieces that that they were copied from, and I don't know how they did it. Maybe it's materials or something. But they're better, and um, I can play thus far anything. My wife can tell you I've been I've been doing nothing but all afternoon having fun. Um, uh, Tim uh, von Heisehem of uh, of uh, Maelstrom was the uh, inspired me to give it a shot, and um, I can't make up my mind when you when you have a, a plentitude of of luxuries. You know, uh, the orchestral model is called Grandioso, uh, and you'll see my logo. I don't know if can you get a close up on my on, on mm -hmm. either of these sharp. Yeah, can. yeah. Can this is a, this is a real mom and pop. Uh, uh, sorry guys, uh, we it's just not focusing very well. Uh, but but, but the point is, my solo mouthpiece with with my solo rim and and um, and the orchestral mouthpiece the orchestral rim, they're better. I don't know. If, now, uh, Tim, Tim has convinced me that they're exact copies, and I just proved it to myself that they are. But there must be something in materials. The materials are very interesting looking and, you know, new age ideas and metals. Maelstrom uh, has come up with something now. I, um, I know that I, that you, you guys know me for a long time, and mouthpieces are really important to me. Uh, that they give, that they allow me to do what I do, and and uh, I before before Shara started rolling tape, she just rolled tape because I was fooling around in the sensational range. <laughs> but but um, before that, uh, I I was playing the most. Uh, Articulate and easy Mozart concerto, um, and uh, wait, that's, that's Anton Horner's mouth. Where's my other one? I, I don't know. Oh, oh, yeah, here we go. They are perfect, absolutely perfect matches, and except better. <laughs> you have to take my word for it. You got to try them out. I ask him to try different um, ideas. He improved the back bore, uh, improved the weight distribution somehow, um, and I've, I've been switching and trying and, and doing all kinds of things. All well, I've had fun all day long, frankly. That's the way I like it anyway. And everybody hates me around here for it, <laughs> but I like to practice off and on all day long. This now I've got a real excuse. Um, it's not that any of my old mouthpieces or my teachers, like the Jimmy Chambers mouthpiece and his teacher Anton Horner's, Myron Bloom's favorite, uh, and my own in the, from the past, some of them, it's not that they're not good. They're really good. But these are like new age good in a way I can't explain. Um, I'm getting six octaves on them, on both of them, without any trouble. With the, and with the sharp rim or the orchestral rim, and um, and having more fun than I ever had before. So um, I know I've said before that it's not a, you know, you know searching for the perfect mouthpieces is, is not really possible. 
Uh, you can't find the perfect mouth because you got to find something that, that works for you. And um, my horn playing, this is my solo instrument, my orchestral horn is downstairs. Um, I, I'm a work in progress. My instruments are and so are my mouthpieces. But, uh, but Tim uh, and, uh, and Maelstrom um, bumped me ahead a few years so now I can relax and I don't have to work so hard for a while. Um, there, in the letters and emails that, that you guys have been sent me, you, you've asked some strange and interesting questions too about uh, some of my other two films. Um, one friend of mine wrote right away to tell me he thought my, my other two films were too vague and rambling, and that's me all over. <laughs> Ask anybody who takes a lesson here. <laughs> I make charge a lot, but they stay all day. It's just that, um, okay, the, on the philosophical side, I'm old enough now, I can tell you what I do know. Um, even if you go back to that old model of Plato's about um, everybody being in a dark cave and just shadows on the wall and nobody knows what's true. Nobody knows where they are or how to get out until somebody brings them the word of what the way is and uh, may or may not be right. Um, I learned, and, and, and I must say, in, in answering emails and being on the internet a little bit, I'm, I'm no good at it, but I'm good enough to see crazy info wars on everything. We were trying to follow a story the other day that came out, and it got flooded with stuff, pro, against, uh, from other countries. Then it disappeared. Then the story ditched. Nobody knows. You know, people who snope it don't. They, you can't, in these information wars, it's impossible to uh, know what is true. Uh, I'm speaking in the Chessic sense of w w when you narrow things down to something you can understand, for me it's, it's uh, 64 squares on a chessboard or a symphony orchestra. I, can, I know as much as I can about those things, and I can say this, that you, you must traverse all the variations, no matter how complex or how simple. And you're going to have a lot of people yelling, this is the way, or this is the thing. And uh, the only way to find out is to go through each one of them carefully, each variation, each mouthpiece, each concerto. I, I, I've already played all six concertos on these mouthpieces, the ones I carry uh, by memory. And um, so I know what I'm talking about, at least about the mouthpieces. Uh, but philosophically and religiously, um, I'm going to be more specific and a little bit harder on you guys because you're my friends. Most of you are my true friends, students, beloved students. Some of you are my enemies that I also love because you're <laughs> my enemies are really good players. And we're all reaching for something. We're all reaching for something that's out of our grasp. And that's a good thing. As I told you, aim higher. Uh, but I followed for 35 years in Aspen. I used to sit and listen to Mortimer Adler, the great philosopher, one of the last of the living legends, and um, he's he's long gone now. And uh, but I saw him go from classical Greek. He had a, a tremendous ability with languages to interpret them all. And I saw him go from that cave in Pla of Plato's through everything, everybody, all the great thinkers, especially when everything jolted forward and, and uh, you had so many people, so many ideas in the Western world particularly, but some in the Eastern world. And I followed Adler very carefully and I followed his logic but I saw him as a very old man next to his wife, um, profess his faith in Yeshua, 
the Lord and uh, in a little church in Aspen he was baptized and his brilliant mind took him there. Now we're talking about a Jewish thinker uh, which is that's, that makes that an extraordinary matter to begin with but my my sense of proportion and uh, what is true was my guide. Also, I am aware, extremely aware, that we have an enemy, an enemy that's in the world that is planting a bunch of lies. There's a liar, a trickster. He's called by a lot of names. One of them makes it sound like he's real light. Lucifer, you know. You see that all over. Television is full of, uh, of uh, or, or even the internet, gaming, cell phones are all full of, uh, of uh, predictive messaging and, and inserts and, and a thousand things to com complicate matters. Um, at some point, you'll have to decide which voice to follow. And there's something about truth and goodness that are linked. Goodness, truth is good and good, goodness is like truth and, and like um, you will know if you invite the Lord to fill you with knowledge of, of the truth of the matter. And I've sought the truth of the matter my whole life. My frame of reference is always small. I would not presume to tell anybody what to do. I've said before, only to tell you what not to fail to do. Uh, I found reading uh, the book of Romans, but I've been fascinated by my namesake, John. Also, it sounds strange to say, but if anybody picks up a Bible and wants to know where to start, I'd actually put you right in, in the book of Revelation at the end. Sounds, sounds really weird, because that's the one they all say is so complex and impossible to understand. But it isn't now, because it's all there. It's ha we're in the middle of it. So, I am being a little bit hard on some of you. Don't forget counterfeiters, forgers. Make a million forgeries, and there's only one real currency. And it's the same with faith and truth. And God, there's only one true way. They call that, that path narrow, I think. Uh, but it's not narrow because it's hard or you have to do things. You don't have to do anything but follow it. Most people are on the wide gate, to the wide road with big gate. and They're all sure of themselves. But be careful. Be, um, be, be a good analytical player. It, my father told me it was not enough to have <laughs> what he called a fake lip. He said, it's not enough, son. You have to practice and, uh, and, and understand what you're doing. And um, I always tried to do what my dad said. And um, in New York, I was very lucky. As I've said before, my teachers, um, who plays who always plays first horn the moment they get to college? In everything, all the time, and, and in every orchestra I played. I've played over 8,000 concerts as a first horn player. And I've had more successful experience in, in understanding the job. Sometimes I wake up at night with a bad dream because you never forget the mistakes that taught you something big. Uh, but you also never make that mistake again. Now, all I can tell you is that by experience and by prayer, um, I have come to understand the truth of the matter. And it's right there in the Bible, which happens to be the only book that I consider um, trustworthy and you, even different editions they don't tamper with it much. They can't do much to tamper with it because it's consistent. And uh, as I've heard it said, the main things are the plain things, and the plain things are the main things. It's not so hard, really.
to understand. Uh, you don't have to be a quantum physicist to get it. Um, in fact, sometimes you have to be, you have to consult your simplest self that the side of you that, that used to trust a parent or a teacher um, and, were, and, and, and were rewarded for that trust. Um, I'm, I'm kind of simple-minded about, about uh, the things I love. My wife's my crown in this earth. My playing, my music, and uh, is my devotion, and God is my my maestro. I wish I could mm -hmm. give you these things. I wish I could. I wish you could just take this from me and trust me. I know that most of you have to work it out for yourself. There are passages. I read Kierkegaard's book about about fear and trembling and and. The, the leap of faith, and I read all the guys that were complex, and they were all saying the same thing. Really, it is the, it is the, uh, it is the, it is God's joy to hide Himself, and the honor of kings and children to find Him by faith. Don't forget you have an enemy. Don't forget the lying, and don't forget mean people are that way for a reason. I know what's been happening to orchestras. I know they're cl it's closing in. It's very hard to be an individual and, and to do things the way you know that's best for the music. Um, there are a lot of close friends of mine, great players that have been so Demusicalized. <laughs> I know my son says, "Stop making up words," but because of uh, situations that are impossible, music is not paper and ink on a page. Nor is it a metronome. Nor is it a chord tuner. It is years of experience in knowing what the composer wanted. I got in a big fight with a composer, with, with a conductor once, who wanted me to play Harry Anos. Dun dun, dun dun, dun dun, dun dun, dun dun, dun dun, It's not Sousa. <laughs> it's Harry Anos. It, it, it's Kodai. And it's it's closer to the viola's uh, cadenza. It's yum, 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 It's Unless not, it's Hungarian. Yeah, you have to know you have to love the music so much that your your life is just filled with it. The old traditions are they're just in me, and um, I wouldn't lie to you, nor would I deceive you. I've told you everything I know. If I've slipped and made mistakes along the way, I'm sorry. Uh, but I guarantee you one thing, you won't be disappointed with these mouthpieces since those of you ask about them, they are not only perfect copies of what I'm playing now, they're better. So we end where we left uh, with me wanting to try to help whatever way I can give back. I never ask for anything from a record producer or a mouthpiece maker or anybody. Um, I've been very fortunate in my life and I, I have no need of any uh, compensation for anything, nor do I need your money or anything else. I just like to give back. I've been helped. I've had a, a what they call a thoroughbreds life as a player. It's been made very easy for me and I had the greatest, the tail end of the golden era of orchestra playing. But I'm. Uh, I'm quite hopeful of renaissance at, at, any, at any moment. There are a lot of terrific players out there. I like to play big mouthpieces and I don't have any trouble with the high range guys. Whoever tells you that, that there's a problem playing with, with the deep throat and big cup and you can't get the high notes, well, yes you can, I, I, I can. I can play six full octaves in most keys. 
Tell him, Gerard, you yeah. just hurt me. It's true. And ridiculously fast. I still can put the coda of the Strauss faster than my metronome can take it. Tell him, Char. You're my witness. Yes, that's true, too. How many double high C's do I play every day? Too many. I know. I know. I drive everybody nuts. So please, guys, uh, um, I, I'm telling you what I know, and that's all. I love you guys. I don't know uh, if there'll be any more films. I'm, uh, I've got some concerts left in me, and I've got some things to do, but I'm getting on in life. So um, good luck to all of you. And um, you're loved. Um, farewell.